Good morning, welcome over here to Lunkers TV. Yes, we are starting our day off here at the Yee Yee Ranch. I'm actually out here by myself. Granger is not here yet. A couple of his uh, band members are here. They were sleeping on the couch when I showed and they got a show today. So we're gonna be going on to that later on. But I wanted to start off today. I have not done a video on this rifle specifically. I just got this one. It is actually being given away right now. A little scuffed up from a boot mark there. But it's got a, it, it's being given away right now. I'm gonna do, this is the overlay. So I'm showing you guys the overlay where you guys can literally go get this, this thing for free. I'm telling you guys right now, all you have to go on there, go to the website, you see the website right up here. You guys gotta search for it because I cannot put it in the description because it will be against YouTube's terms of service and we cannot do that. Do not wanna be terminated for any reason. But this, this right here is being given away right now for free. You just go on the website, you enter your email, that's it, you press submit, that's it, nothing else. No gimmicks, no nothing like that, 110% free. I'm not kidding. This uh, this thing comes out to about five grand, just under five grand before taxes, so it's a, it's a $5,000 setup, probably a little more. Let me see if I can get on this backside so there's no shadows. Sun's not gonna be great right now. Let's see here. So this is a Christensen Arms 300 wind mag Go ahead and lift that up so you can see the bottom See, christensen arms sorry for the shadows but we got a leopold vx6 hd on it accutech bipods in the front this is a carbon fiber rifle as you guys do know if you guys knew anything about christensen arms very smooth action rifle i mean look at this that is it's just it's phenomenal. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal rifle. I'm excited to shoot it. This is Chamberlain 300 Winter Mag. Like I said, this is the exact same setup. You will go and win on that website just by entering your email. So make sure you go do that. Here's the overlay once again for you guys and gals who are interested in winning this. Um, you will have to put it together. I will I will tell you this. You're going to want to put Loctite. Make sure you guys don't do this. These these up here. When you guys do it, make sure you like tighten these ones down, then tighten these ones down, then tighten these ones down. And kind of go like this with it okay make sure you do that but make sure to put loctite up in there too you don't want them to get loose and get all loosey-goosey on you but these accutech bipods this is my first time ever using them the other day and i'm telling you right now they're ab they're really 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 nice i'm gonna give them props i've never used them before i heard they were really nice but they got some cool features on them i do like this but we're gonna send some rounds down range today this is a uh, like i said this is like a five thousand dollar setup so it should be fairly accurate should be we're not gonna be doing anything crazy i just want to kind of send some see kind of where we're sitting you know i kind of want to know where we're sitting and i know you guys enjoy these kind of videos and just like i do i mean look how light this thing is look at this fully kitted out so this actually does come off you guys did not know this this muzzle brake radio you can actually turn it off or twist it off you can put your suppressor on there if you want i'm actually not going to suppress this one i i do have a suppressor ready for it i don't think i'm going to do that though i think i'm gonna leave it be I think I'm gonna start, I, I need some without suppressors. And another thing is, is I don't really know how well this, well, let's just go ahead and send some rounds and see kind of where we're sitting at right now. And you guys can see how smooth the action is here in a second. I, I bet you it's gonna be like butter. Be like a little butterness. Like a butter. Like a little bit of butter, baby. Little bit of blue, baby. Oh my. Okay. A little bit of blue baby actually comes from that actually comes from uh i don't know what was i doing was i fishing anyway the color of our bait the bandito bug blue baby weird yes 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 i know all righty then god it really is amazing seriously how, how light this thing is it really is just it's really amazing it's really really great so you like i like that right there do that so nice. So if anybody does not know, 3 in one mag is a, is a fairly large round. Like, I'm not just saying. I'm going to go ahead and prop you guys underneath this little sand sock right there. If you guys don't have sand socks, you guys need to grab some of those. I should probably make my own sand socks. Why haven't I ever done that? I bet you I could make a good sand sock. It's not a bad idea. So 3 in one mag is, is a fairly large round. Like, it really is. Um, I don't... I guess you could use it for deer. You can use anything for deer, but... Would I recommend it? I mean, you could use something much smaller for deer. But if you guys are looking for a caliber round that really will take down just about anything animal-wise you're looking for, that's probably it. Uh, I would I would feel comfortable shooting an elk at a thousand yards with a 300 wood mag. I really would. It's got enough power, punch, everything. As long as long as the conditions are correct, I would have no issues morally doing it. Now, could I hit it? That's a different story. All right. You guys probably just shook a lot there, didn't you? All right, first round down range. Doesn't really matter. Let's just make sure we're hitting 
well, somewhere in that gentle vicinity. Little bit of blue, baby. Oh my lands, that looks absolutely phenomenal. I mean, All right, so you guys want to see how much power I told you this thing has? Well, I was just talking a second ago. I mean, it's it's actually on really well. Um, for being the first shot ever through this thing, it hit a little low. It hit actually, pretty sure it hit probably like six inches. We're gonna walk down there real quick. But I mean, with that being the first round sent through it, I'm not really too concerned. But I I, uh, I, I was trying to, I, the caliber of a round, it's, uh, it's really interesting. So say it's six and a half. You guys know my six and a half Creedmoor is probably one of my favorite calibers I, i've ever had like i really do like that round but i've never really taken it really far on and, and shot anything that has got flesh or meat at a far distance and i remember the other day i was out shooting between eight and 915 yards it lost so much velocity like an exceptional amount of velocity between 800 and 900 that you, i don't think you're going to lose with the 300 wind mag you just won't lose that much velocity at that distance i don't know i don't know where i was going with this but i was just saying it damn it sorry granger uh, Oh, did I just knock it off? I think I just knocked it off. Okay, I thought I broke it. Oh, I did break it. Son of a bitch. Okay, so one shot on a steel target. I literally just broke the thing that was connecting the chain. So, yeah, I was aiming about here and it drilled it right there in the bottom. I mean, that was literally my first shot with this thing ever. Damn, that sucks. <sighs> okay, well, uh, I guess I got this one over here. This one won't, this one won't break because it's not... It's not dangling, it's just, that one should be fine. Well, at least we know we're at least somewhat close. So I'm actually gonna do it all for you guys today. I was just gonna come out and just send a few rounds, but I think I'm gonna get it as much zeroed as I possibly can. If you guys don't know a lot about your, your scopes and all that kind of stuff, you need to probably read just a little bit. This thing over here called Parallax, a lot of people do not adjust this. I think it's exceptionally important to adjust this. Sometimes, I God, I, I could go on for days about this though so i probably shouldn't i'm just gonna i'm just gonna leave it like that <laughs> i feel like sometimes i might go down rabbit holes when i start talking about this kind of stuff but i'll um i don't even know why i brought up the parallax thing but let's uh these targets are just about 100 so i, I should be able to get this thing dialed it shot low that last one i'll send one more round for conf confirmation but i'm pretty positive it's shooting low into the right but we'll get her we'll get her somewhat like this all right so oh hey guys uh this thing right this little dangle nugget right there make sure that's up and inside uh the old rifola before you uh try to stick around in there <laughs> such a fat little round okay i'm gonna punch that son of a gun in adjust the parallax and i'm gonna be honest with you guys sometimes i like you can I don't want to put this so the parallax makes it to where you can keep the target focused and everything else blurry just I don't know I don't know how to explain it that's pretty much all it is some people don't jack with it but <laughs> oh yeah see this thing is a little bit she's tight like a tiger look at that Definitely right. Um, bum, 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 bum. Oh, spray paint right there. Okay, so this is a one click is quarter minute of adjustment. Okay, and right now quarter minute adjustments at a one click. Let's let's take a little gander. If that's the case, and I am sh somewhere about. Ooh, we are a bunch right. We are a bunch right. A bunch, and a bunch down. So a bunch actually equals. We'll say six and six. So six and six, we actually gotta go 24 click because what, quarter minute, six inches at 100 yards. I know some of you guys are pro shooters, but there's probably 99% of the people watching this video have no idea what I'm talking about. Why do I have my earphones in, my headphones in? So we got a quarter minute at 100, you need to move the thing four times to go one inch, okay? And for six inches right, you gotta take six times four, that's 24 just to get you somewhere. And a lot of times you wanna overcorrect but i think six is going to be good so okay that should that's going to bring us a whole bunch left <sighs> and then up is going to be to the right so we're going to be going all right there we go 
and just so you're aware you also didn't have to count you could have just went to 6L and 6 but I counted because my name is Robert and I do things a little harder than everybody okay that shot was good so if your shots good like that shot was good I overcorrected so I overcorrected but we'll come to there overcorrecting is fine come back you got to be honest with yourself like if you make a shot you can't be like you can't make an adjustment off that but if you know the shots clean send it Well, this is about to be one of the most uh, inner, not what is it, beginner classes, beginner things I've ever shown, I guess. Well, there's a lot of people that, I mean, so I did a podcast with Granger yesterday, and he didn't realize that I never actually, I never shot rifles and stuff before the Army. Like, everything I know is just from that. And so there's a lot of people that probably want to learn how to shoot and or get into it, but have no one to teach them. So this is a portion, hopefully right now, I'm, something I just showed you will, I don't know, make it a little easier for you, I guess. I mean, this is all super, super, super f basic stuff, like like ground level basic bullshit. so but i'll show you real quick what we did when it came to the adjustment so you guys can see what i was doing down there we went 24 um 24 left and then i went uh 24 up so. all right so this is my friend bob so these two shots right here you guys see this was before i put white spray paint which you can see is right here before i put white spray paint on him so i was like aiming at this black circle kind of get an idea and this is kind of what i went so i went 24 and 24 remember that put me to here okay the next one the next adjustment got me to here see what i mean just going off inches it's just really good guesstimates is all this is you just got to be that's all you got to learn how to do correctly and then i went from here to here which that's a little white dot so i maybe i can come over one more quarter minute or so maybe a quarter minute but i need to uh once you touch the thing that you're trying to touch doesn't matter what it is that's when you need to send like three or four rounds for confirmation if it stays golden that's it that's how easy that is i know it may seem a little more difficult than what it is but i'm telling you guys rifles and that such a thing they're actually fairly legitimate simple little machine like they're so easy like they're just a trigger and a barrel and it's, well the scope's the most difficult part of the entire thing i say that but that's not also true because rifle barreling and twists and all that kind of stuff that all goes into it but that's we'll just we'll just leave it be for now they're very simple things you put around in Slide the, slide the bolt forward, send it, that's it. She's literally dialed. So now we're gonna do slip rings. If you guys know slip rings are real easy. Uh, let's go watch a YouTube video. I'm sure there's one on that. I do have to slip the rings though. I like it, it's smooth. I'm telling you guys, if you guys, like, think about this. You guys can literally go win this same rifle and then come back and watch this video and see how I dialed it in if you did win the rifle. So if you wanna go, like I said, this is gonna be the final time I say it, the on-screen overlay, go to that website. That's all you gotta do, type your email in, done. That's it. It takes three seconds. I actually did it myself to make sure that they weren't lying. When they said, is it free and is it easy? I went and put my own email in to make sure I wasn't getting sent a bunch of bullshit. Not gonna lie, I checked it out. Sounds kind of like a thing to do, but I, I, I legitimately did it. But I'm gonna slip these rings and uh, that is going to be that of the shooting portion of this video. Don't worry, I won't put it all in there so no one will ever know. Are you already done playing music now? I'm about to play something right now. Can make a cup of coffee real fast? I'm very fortunate to know this gentleman because I get to actually listen to some of the music before it comes out. I'm gonna throw it out there. What would you say? Eight. Listen to all of it. Some of it. I guess I gotta have it in here. How many, how many songs? Is it 18 on the next one? Yeah, I'm about 18. 18 songs on the next album. I think you said it comes out in September, and I'm I'm enjoying it. I guess it's literally I'm just sitting here before a show, and I get to just listen to these. I had no idea that the amount of stuff that went into making a song. I didn't know that they were collaborating with other people to generate. I, what do you even call those tracks like i don't understand yeah. is it called a track like i'm talking about like with the the different guitarists i had no idea i thought you just used one guy and he did it all i'm enjoying this yeah, this so is we'll, new we'll call like if we know a solo needs a certain style we know a friend that could play that style perfectly so we'll call him comes over like yesterday you saw a guy come over that we knew exactly the little part he could do he, he drove literally drove from dallas just, just to, to do that one part and drive back and okay that's how this whole i had no idea that, that guitar said styles i thought you guys just played with the strings you know <laughs> i thought that you guys were good good three fingers yeah everybody has their wheelhouse 
Well, and least... son, son's wheelhouse is having <coughs> Test. a wheelhouse with this and everything. I'm waiting for you to turn that camera off so I can play you another song. Okay. guys are wondering how they're doing this concert down here in Texas well everybody has to wear one of these that is right, you have to wear a mask and everybody's got their own little like six foot like square thing uh, it's like four people to a square or five people to a square I don't remember the exact thing but uh, I went out there and walked it and it's literally like there's six foot between each square and there's rows they're still able to fit around 3,500 people in an entire stadium but everybody literally is on their little isolated things little islands kind of so i mean i've been wearing a mask for the last pretty much two days because that's what texas is making me do so I, and another thing is is i know a lot of people think that i'm like against masks and everything else i just i just have the i just think everybody's probably gonna end up getting it or some point has already had it so i don't i don't know i don't really exactly know what to think i'm not the smartest individual clearly but i think it's like one of those things that it's just you can kind of try to prevent it, but I think it's going to end up happening to everybody at some point along the lines. I get the whole reasoning not to fill up the hospitals, but I don't know. I don't know what to think at this point anymore. I don't really want to think. So that's why I literally just went and bought an entire case of Coors Light. And now I'm sitting on the floor in front of Granger's thing for this concert. I'm just going to sit here and just drink a case of beer. So this show is so important to me, and I know everybody in this entire place was watching the calendar and wondering if it was going to happen or not. And the fact that it did is a testament to you guys, the trust that we all have in you guys that we're going to do this the right way, and we're going to set the examples for others. Maybe like this about witness down, radio up, put that hammer down, take that curve up ahead. You don't know what it's going to bring, but you take it anyway. So much, so look, look. Come on, give me, some, give me it, give me it. I know you will. No. Awkward. All right. There it goes. Look. Yes, I knew it will. There we go. See, you see this mask? Yes. I'm, we I'm wearing one outside with nobody around me. There's no one around me. There's no one around me. Don't, don't do it. Don't get mad in the comments. I wore that thing so much yesterday at that Granger concert. Follow. We followed the rules. I'm telling you, we did everything we could not to do the whole spreading of the whole virus thing. I know there's probably a lot of people that are saying, God, you're crazy if you're going there, but I don't I don't see it that way. It was a it was a very controlled environment. Everybody there was very, very well masked. Uh, very well well spaced. Actually, that's a good way to put it. Everybody there had their own little pond thing and they all stayed in it. And the only people who didn't have masks on were the people inside their pods or the people on stage and they were all separated. So it's kind of like one of those things. I'm so confused with this virus. To this day, I'm still really confused. Am I going to get it from sleeping in the hotel room? Pumping gas. Oh God, it's the most confusing thing ever. But anyway, it was really good. I really hope they continue to do that. I don't really know exactly what to still think about the whole the whole virus thing. I did I did shave that in the side of my head yesterday, which is, well, I didn't do it. Granger did this. You guys see this? Can you guys see it? I don't know if you guys can see it or not. It does say yee on the side of my head. I had him do it. He was doing it over on his channel. If you guys didn't know, Granger Smith has one. He's got a couple, actually. He said Granger Smith, and he's got the Smiths, which if you guys want to see the daily life of what it's like to be Granger Smith and his family, you guys can go check out their channel, which I will link that at the top of the description. You need to go check them out. Granger and his family, phenomenal people. Everybody in his band, amazing guys. Everybody's, it's really great guys. So, 
anyway i thought it was good to show you guys the uh what, what goes on everybody was still wearing masks there i just don't i don't know i i'm like i'm kind of feeling like everybody's gonna get this thing at some point i, I feel like it's gonna happen right we took as much preventative measures you could possibly take other than locking myself in a basement and staring at a wall i wore a mask all right well i hope you guys enjoyed this video here on Lakers tv i'll catch you guys on another episode we are headed back up north so that's that. I love you guys. Go ahead and roll that sweet, succulent, mother natural. <laughs>